Hello, I'm James Wilson. I'm Professor of Philosophy. For the REF, I was working in particular on ethical issues in the use of patients' data in the NHS. How can we share that data as widely as possible so that a lot of good can be done, for example, for, for public health or for research, while at the same time maintaining patients' confidentiality? So I've been working with the NHS in different capacities for about 10 years now, and that from the beginning, I found myself on a committee where we were asked, asked to make questions about whether it was in the public interest for NHS data to be used in particular ways, for example, by a commercial company, or even um, NHS data to be shared from, from the NHS uh, with someone like the, the Home Office or another part of government. Often I've found that my role, or when, I, when I've been most helpful in working with parts of the NHS, has been to help people whose job it is to make decisions, to make those decisions in a more uh, impartial and rigorous way. And almost to get people to, to see and to notice questions or problems in the way that they were taking decisions. So one of the most important things I, I did as part of the impact case study was to work with the National Data Guardian and also with NHS Digital to think about a particular way that NHS Digital was sharing information with the Home Office. Now, NHS Digital was sharing information with the Home Office to allow people who'd overstayed their visas to be tracked down and then potentially deported. Now, you might think that that was an okay thing to do. The people had broken the law in a certain way. But that one thing we were able to do and to articulate is to ask people to think about, well, sure, there's a, perhaps a public benefit or public interest in, in tracking down people who've overstayed their visas. But that think also about the public interest in maintaining public confidence in a health system. What does it say about a, a health system if you're willing to use people's data in that kind of a way? Will people still trust sufficiently to come and see their doctors? And we came to the conclusion that probably they wouldn't, and so that it seemed to be an instance where, potentially at least, a lot more harm was, than good was going to be done. How do we apply these ideas of impartiality in that context? It's a question that struck me as important then, and, and I think still is now, 10 years later. 